In a rare decision, cameras will be allowed into the courtroom to live stream the carbon tax appeal. The court issued a decision earlier this month to allow the three-day hearing to be live streamed online by news organizations. This is the second time cameras have been allowed inside a courtroom in the province. Daniel Smith from Global News Radio 770 CHQR joins us to continue the conversation about what might happen today, Danielle. Well, it doesn't look very good for the Alberta government when you see that other challenges have failed, when you see that New Brunswick have kind of thrown up their hands and said, yeah, well, we're going to accept the government's decision. I don't know if they're going to be making novel arguments that uh, have already not been rejected by the court, but that's what we're going to find out Today, I'm going to speak with uh, Justice Minister Doug Schweitzer to see what the nature of the argument is. The best argument I've heard comes from the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, who says the real problem is that the federal government is seeing this tax implemented differently in different regions. And I think Quebec is going to be the, the, the big test case because they have a cap and trade market, which means that their price for carbon is set with California. Right now, it's uh, I think last time I checked, it was trading around $18 per ton. So how are they going to justify it if the rest of the country is facing a floor and it continues to go up to $50 per ton, whereas Quebec is going to be an outlier? That's just not going to be fair. So those are the things that I, I, I hope the government is arguing. The other thing is we'll be talking with the uh, representative from the Beef and Barley Commissions today because, as we've seen, I think we're all getting a bit of an education about just how much our farmers rely on natural gas and propane to either heat their chicken barns or to dry out their grain. And so that is one area where they've been asking for a reprieve to allow for them to continue doing that without facing the tax. And the government said no. So you'd think that in a, an industry where they are price takers, they cannot pass those costs on to their consumers because it's an international market. It's just going to be taking money off the bottom line, making our farmers less competitive, and it's going to impact our food prices. How does that make any sense, especially since we're all supposed to be moving more towards a vegan diet? So I think that there's some good arguments to be made about why we need to see exceptions, and we'll see whether or not we can be successful in that. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, Daniel Smith, uh, thanks for your time. Yeah, my pleasure. Have a good show. You can listen to her on Global News Radio starting at 9.30 this morning.